yeah, it's a real occupation. No? Parang slowly nagiging uh, social media content moderation capital tayo ng world. Yeah, it's a real occupation. No? Parang slowly nagiging uh, social media content moderation capital tayo ng world. In fact, yung mga jobs na yun usually na outsourced ng mga social media companies. Siyempre, kailangan nila ng parang uh, first line of defense, na parang frontliners to filter everything uh, we see online. So, ito yung mga tao na nakakita ng mga horrific na videos, photos, or mga uh, bawal natin makita online na uh, according dun sa parang guidelines syempre ng bawat social media platform. So a lot of it is outsourced work and it's a very difficult job no? and mentally, uh, psychologically draining yan. And yun, very interesting siya na subject and occupation and nakapanood na ng documentaries about it pero never um, in a fiction film na. No? So, naisip ko lang like, uh, a genre movie, lalo na parang techno-horror, is more accessible to a lot of people and, you know, we get to explore this this um, job and this world pero through uh, a genre movie. So, hopefully it reaches more people. Yeah, Nababasa ko na siya, may mga articles talaga before uh, about this. No, kahit nung nagsistart pa lang Facebook, may mga ganun na articles. Kasi syempre, it's something you wonder, no? Parang, pag nade-delete yung post nang sa Facebook, eh, sino, sino ang nag-decide nun? Yeah? Hindi naman siguro AI yun. I'm sure pinanood talaga yung video. In fact, di ba may mga times pa nga na... Kasi ako, ever since ma-internet talaga ako, kahit yung mga panahon before Facebook, di ba may, meron ka ng mga of grish.com and live leaks no dun pinapost yung mga horrific crimes pero eventually nung no, nagka mas mass na social media may na-upload pa rin may nakakalusot so you always wonder that no? and then eventually articles started coming out about parang who does this behind the scenes and then eventually may mga youtube interviews kahit yung vice naglabas sila ng mga interviews na anonymous pa eh diba? parang ang creepy yan, ang weird, kasi ang clandestine and ang secretive ng parang job na to. Parang may ganun siyang feeling na, na parang sobrang patago, di ba? hindi siya out in the open. The fact na ini-interview sila about uh, social media cleaning, kailangan nakamask sila, kailangan blurred yung mukha, may ganun na feeling na parang siyang very underground type of um, occupation. So, doon pa lang ang interesting. And then eventually, I think I was traveling with Neo Manila sa film festivals and then I saw a documentary about it. So parang nag-grow lang nang nag-grow yung parang fascination and interest ko dito. And eventually nga when I had to pitch to Viva in parang pandemic, you have to think of certain concepts rin and the na feasible. Uh, yun nga, parang medyo na-cover ko kanina, no? Uh, besides yung parang growing interest and fascination dito, I felt like it was never explored in a fiction, of, in a genre of film. I mean, there are documentaries and mga articles nga from uh, journalists and publications, pero minsan kasi to, to get to a wider audience and to get more people parang talking about it or, you know, focusing on it, minsan you have to reach them through through you know fiction or a genre film something that's accessible and yun, it's it's a it's a good platform rin diba MMFF and daming makakanood but at the same time again uh, there's always that layer na it's it's still a horror film it should still have thrills entertainment so siguro mas ganun yung mindset ko i always try to um parang make sure na you know you have that theme that you feel is relevant and should be parang explored or talked about pero you have that vehicle no, to deliver that theme no, parang yun yung subtext, yun yung isa smuggle mo, ito Trojan horse you know. and then you have uh, something entertaining that people can enjoy, people can watch, and people can talk about and tell other people about no, it gets the discussion going 
Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's like I said, uh, fascinating the fact that it's so underground, it's so parang covert, so mysterious, na parang you really wanna know more about it. And I think yun yung interesting rin, eh, no, na sa character ni Lyra, you know, parang it's a challenging role kasi she's very jaded, you know, very numb. So yung acting na din talagang kailangan ng lilip lang sa mannerism sa mga twitches sa mata sa shaking ng hand before she touches the mouse down to start her work so iba rin eh ibang role na baka mag-work for a horror movie no na mas internal siya and then parang magi implode ka na lang when the conflict starts so i think ang gandang device niya rin for for horror Well, again, very subjective um, film now, so it really depends on timing, on the jury, it's all opinions now. And minsan, nagbamatter pa nga yung order of how you watch the entries, eh. it affects your decision. So yeah, I mean, um, uh, I mean, excited ako, very proud ako of the cast, of their performances. Napakahirap nga gawin yung horror. Uh, to to shoot it to craft it no ang technical and I mean, like pati sound kailangan OC ka doon and acting in horror is very tough kasi parang you have to imagine things lalo na sa film na to daming compositing sa monitor no so ang challenging and doon pa lang sa siguro sa effort namin proud na ako uh, so no matter what happens proud naman ako sa film but yeah uh, you know, wish us luck. Sana ano, mapansin yung mga performances and yung technicals namin na ano, baka ma magka-award. Pero yun, uh, happy now na we have a platform to uh, reach a big audience.